friends, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't done this in a while. That's because wedding is one week from tomorrow and I can't believe how quickly the time has passed. I'm so freaking excited. I tried my dress and veil on yesterday and I was like, oh, I don't even want to take it off. Can't wait. So anyways, that's why I haven't been on here. We're posting a whole lot of content. Things have been pretty busy. So now that we are one week out, I've been trying to just kind of narrow down all these little things that add up to like a lot of big things, if you know what I mean. If you plan a wedding, you know what I mean. But anyways. I also have this weird thing where I can't focus on getting anything done until I clean my entire house. So Devin and I went through the whole office today and like threw a bunch of garbage got things organized so I feel better. So one of the first things on my agenda is to figure out what lipstick I'm going to wear the day of. I know a lot of people wear like classic pinks and neutrals but I am a red lip kind of girl and I can't picture myself wearing anything other than red on my wedding day. So I need something that is going to actually last because that is the tricky part. I don't want it to transfer. So I'm going to be trying this CoverGirl Farewell Feathering Lip Liner, and this is just in clear. And I also have CoverGirl Oat Last All Day Lip Color. It says this can last up to 24 hours, which seems crazy. So we're gonna give it a go. Um, I have color 507, which is Ever Ready. And so it's like a little color tube and then the top coat. So I guess that's supposed to help kind of seal it in. Um, for anyone who's thinking, yes, I have tried lip scents before, I just really didn't like the kind of drying feeling, so I didn't, I didn't want to go with that. So this is what they look like. Packaging is kind of plain, but I mean, whatever. It's how the product inside does. Oatless All Day Lip Color gives you beautiful color that can last as long as 24 hours. Okay. Apply color to clean lips. Let dry 60 seconds. Don't press lips together. Apply moisturizing top coat for shine and comfort. Use as a balm to refresh throughout the day. It says to remove, use um, baby oil or their cleanser, which I mean, of course they're gonna say that. I'm gonna go with the liner first, I guess. It makes sense to start that. I really should have started this earlier in the day. It's 6 p.m. now. So I'm probably only gonna be up until 10 realistically. So we'll see how it does for four hours. All right, lip liner. I can't see what's happening. What do I do? I think I need to read the directions. Do you cover the whole lip or do you just line? And the problem is I can't see where I've lined because it's clear. Wow, I did not think about this. I'm gonna do the whole thing because I literally don't know what to do. <gasps> oh! You know what I just thought of? The package just apply to clean lips, but are they clean if I already put lip liner on? If they feel like they have a film on them, so I don't know. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and give it a go with the lip liner since it's already on and maybe I'll follow up tomorrow and see how it goes without and compare. Okay, so we're gonna put this on and let it dry for 60 seconds. I like the color. Okay, I need a mirror. So if this stays well and doesn't smudge, I am definitely going to be wearing this. Super pretty. So I did find it felt thick to blend. And I felt like I should have re-dipped the brush, but I didn't. I feel like it's not as dark on this top lip. Oh my God, my freaking nails. I was doing some gardening today, pulling weeds out of my veggie garden. Please excuse me. This feels... Dry. 
Nothing. <gasps> okay, so far so good. Let's follow up with the top coat because it actually does feel dry, which I mean, I get it. It's like drawing the color in, I guess. So let's see here. Ooh, feels like just what I needed. They really knew what they were doing with this package deal. I like this. Well, this feels great. It actually does feel super moisturizing. Mm. Okay, let's have another test. Okay, I'm gonna go clean up the house and get some more wedding things done because time is ticking. And I'm gonna follow up later tonight and let you know what happens after supper. It's been two hours. I just had some soup and it's like rubbing off. So, don't know if it was the heat of the soup or the fact that I used the lip liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and try again tomorrow and report back. Hello again and good morning. It's the next day and I just showered, hence the wet hair. So I'm gonna give this another go. I'll try it this time without the lip liner because maybe that was the thing I shouldn't have done. So I'm gonna try that. And also I wanted to let you guys know that this is gonna be kind of like a before of my skin because I'm going for a dermaplaning appointment today at three o'clock. I've never had dermaplaning before, but I'm really excited about it because I know that it gives you like a really fresh uh, canvas and fresh face, which is really great for makeup application looking flawless, which would be great for the wedding day So this is my skin with no makeup just completely Natural So I'm gonna have to show you what it looks like after the dermaplaning because I'm excited to see this glow that I've seen in all these after pictures, so Stay tuned for that By the way, it's 12 o'clock noon putting this on now my dermaplaning appointment is at 3 and I'll probably have to take it off for that, but we'll see if it stays intact until then without the liner. I'll let you know. Lipstick is on. I just finished with the top coat. It does feel a whole lot better after you put on the top coat and before then it feels like really dry and cakey almost. So I'm at my parents' house and here are our wooden head tables that my dad built for me. So he cut down all the trees himself from his land planed the wood and made these beautiful wooden tables and they're going to be our head tables for the wedding and I'm so excited to style them with some garland, some copper touches. It's going to be really beautiful. Just ate my lunch. It was a burger and fries. There is no such thing as a wedding diet here but it's 2.30 and the lips seem to have uh, held up pretty well through eating today so maybe it was the liner that I was not supposed to use yesterday that made it not stick today seems a bit better it's almost three o'clock so I'm gonna have to take this off anyway to have my dermaplaning appointment but maybe I'll put it back on after excuse me do you want a french fry going into shoppers pick up a parcel from Canada Post and I'm gonna head home, drop off this little pooch, and head to my appointment. And I'll take a little before and after of my skin so I can insert that. Excuse me, to see what kind of a difference we see. Five minutes until three o'clock, so I'm here at Nurtured Salon and Spa for my appointment. This is my last before of what my skin looks like. My skin has cleared up a lot um, over the last few months. It was full of like fungal acne on my forehead and I finally got that cleared I should make a video talking about how I did that because it was a challenge but I should share it for anyone else who's struggling so yeah here we go appointment time all right you guys this is my after I just finished dermaplaning it was so relaxing I feel so zen now my skin feels good looks glowy not a huge difference but my skin was doing pretty well to begin with so that makes sense um there was no pain sorry it's really bright in my eyes right now and I need also need to protect my skin now for 48 hours no sun because we have a fresh fresh layer of skin to protect and take care of um yeah at the beginning it felt like 
it feels like scratching, I would say. And then I started to freak out because I knew it was a blade and that kind of made me feel nervous. But I stayed relaxed because I knew it would be worth it and it really didn't hurt. It was just in my own head. Um, it did feel kind of like ticklish though on my forehead and when I mentioned that to the esthetician, she said it's because it's not as fleshy as your cheeks are. So where it's kind of on the bone, it can feel like more ticklish, I guess. So yeah, that's that. And I took a picture of all the gunk that she shaved off my face. So I'm gonna insert that right here for you. So enjoy that. Bet you didn't know I had such a hairy face on me. Now you do. Anyway, I'm gonna drive home. But I might stop at the thrift store because it's like right there and I haven't been in a while. Keep you posted. Oh my God, I almost forgot to melt. <laughs> I almost forgot to mention the most important part, the lipstick is still on. And I told the esthetician at the beginning, I was like, Ooh, I should have wiped this off. I was kind of doing a test to see how it stayed on. And she was like, well, I think it passed the test. I was going to tell you, I even like wiped the towel on it a few times and it didn't budge. It's still, that's impressive for CoverGirl. I'm giving this a thumbs up and it survived a facial. That's a pretty good testimony. So you know what? I think this is going to be the wedding lipstick. Home from Louis, lipstick still on, face still feels good. I did buy that pink gown because it fit me exactly to a T and even the length was perfect. And I also got this little like chiffon kind of coral skirt and it's got a tight enough waistband that it'll sit like high on my waist. And I always have a hard time finding things that fit in here because my waist is so much smaller than my hips. And this little number has pockets. So, that was a huge win. And then I also got just this little t-shirt because it was soft. Love the feel of it and I like the color. And I just thought it would be cute to wear with like jeans or something and tie it up endless. It kind of has like a cologne smell on it. So I'm gonna wash those before I wear them. But yeah, that's what's happening. I'm not over how good my skin looks right now. This is no makeup, nothing, just freshly dermaplaned and moisturized. I am really happy with the way this looks. I like don't want to touch it because I feel like I'm gonna infect my skin since it's been freshly like, I don't know, exposed. I think this is my Lily Lashes. And I think that it's Lily Lashes because when I picked it up at the post office, I had to pay $32. Not cool, but I mean, they better freaking be worth it because I've never spent this much money on lashes in my entire life and I never intend to again. So they better look bomb and they better show up really well in pictures. That's all I have to say about Lily Lashes. Oh yes, okay, I remember what I did now. These are Miami, so these are the ones that are recommended to me by my sister Gracie, who is like a lash queen. I'm looking at these though and I'm thinking these look long as Heck. And she told me they had a thin band and this band does not look thin. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with these. But I thought ahead and also ordered Miami Light because I thought I wanted to have a backup in case these were too much. So these look a bit better and the band on these is definitely uh, thinner. These look doable. I don't know, these look like Halloween lashes to me. They looked good on the girls in the pictures on the website, but I don't know. I'll have to get Gracie to do a test run with them and see what I think because I can't just throw these on on the wedding day without knowing what they're gonna look like because that is freaking scary. So that's what I got. I will have to follow up and let you know if I think this was worth the money because these were expensive as heck and I don't think I'm ever gonna spend that money on lashes again in my entire life. So just a little disclaimer on how I feel about that, especially with the Canadian conversion. I think. You guys, I think with the conversion and shipping and duty, I paid a hundred dollars for this. That's way too much money. Hello again, another lipstick update. It is 6.30, so it's been tw uh, six hours. And I just ate supper. Oh, I still have food on my face. That's how fresh it was. Ate supper and uh, it is starting to like fade off a little bit. But it's pretty intact, so you know what? This lipstick is a winner. Yay! I'm gonna 
gonna end this video here because we're just gonna hang out and watch some Lost and have some wedding wine. So anyways, you guys, thanks for watching this super random video if you made it this far. A little bit of everything thrown in here, but I hope that you enjoyed it. Have a lovely day. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.